majesty worship his majesty unto jesus be glory on Welcome to day nine of our 10 days of prayer, our penultimate day, and I do hope that you've been enjoying our presentations. Today we will be looking at the topic called the mark of the beast and prayer. Time to hear from our presenters. After these things, I heard a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation, glory and honour and power belong to the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, because he has judged the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her fornication, and he has avenged on her blood of his servants shed by her. Again they said, Hallelujah. Her smoke rises up forever and ever, and the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants and those who fear him, both small and great. The third and last of the three angel's message is one of the most important solemn warning in the bible it's it's one that many people would like to ignore yet it reveals life-changing spiritual truths that speak to our deepest needs and draw us closer to jesus the apostle john writes then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and reveals his mark on his forehead or his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. The first life-changing principle about this warning is that it comes from the heart of a loving God who wants nothing more than to save us in his kingdom. This is a divine message of warning so that God's people will not be caught off guard with the deception 
that are coming. Secondly, it has to do with worship. The angel says, if anyone worships the beast, this is in direct contrast to the first angel's message in verse 7 to worship the creator. Worshipping the creator leads faithful followers of Christ to respond to his love, trust, saving grace, and be obedient to his word and keep his commandments. Worshipping the beast leads to people's Worshipping the beast leads people to live self-centered lives of independence from God in disobedience to his commands. It focuses on self rather than upon Jesus. This message of the third angels speaks of a time that is coming when church and state will unite under the authority of the papacy to enforce worship on the first day of the week. The final message of the three angels is a call to earnest heartfelt prayer, the antichrist principle of pride rather than humility, self altercation rather than self-sacrifice for the good of others and trust in human wisdom rather than the divine inspiration of scriptures is deeply ingrained in our fallen natures. What is the solution to the principle of the beast dwelling in us? There is only one solution, and that is Jesus. His grace, his power, his love filling our hearts and lives, unless our commitment to him is stronger than the pull of the world, we will be dominated by the principles of the beast today and will one day accept the beast's mark. The warning against the mark of the beast is the third angel's message should drive us to our knees in humble submission to Christ, pleading for his spirit to purge us thoroughly from within and work the miracle of divine grace in our hearts. It should also lead us to pray for our family, friends and neighbours, that they too will have hearts to open Christ's saving last day message. This message should motivate us to look forward to the day when we rejoice with Christ around his throne forever. Teach me, Father, what to say. Teach me, Father, how to pray. Teach me all along the way how to be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus, I would be like Jesus, help me Lord to daily grow more and more like Jesus. Teach me as the days go by, teach me not to reason why, Teach me that to do when die is to be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus. Help me, Lord, to daily grow more and more like Jesus. Teach me that the time is short. Teach me how to live and work. Teach me that to never shirk is to be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus. Help me, Lord, to daily grow more and more like Jesus. Teach me how we may be one like the Father and the Son when and when all is overcome, I will be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus, I would be like Jesus, help me Lord to daily grow more and more like Jesus. 
In your prayer for today, thank God for warning those who choose to idolize and worship modern day idols such as pop stars for their source of strength and fulfillment or perhaps their slaves to social media. You know, it's, it's so important to ask God to help us lead others to Jesus, who is the only savior that is worthy of worship. We should also thank God that he will destroy sin forever and for giving every human being a choice. That's important to remember, boys and girls. We have a choice to do good or evil, to worship God or not to worship God. And also it's about having a choice and an opportunity to accept Jesus's salvation. So ask God to protect us from following worldly pleasures. I know sometimes that can be pretty hard. Instead, ask God to lead us to the Lamb where he goes. Boys and girls, ask God to help us to choose him and to surrender to him and to no one or nothing else. Take some time to pray on these prayer points.
Dear Jesus, we thank you for the fact that you have spared us to see another prayer meeting in this wonderful new year. We thank you for all the privileges and provisions you have given to us through this trying time. We pray that through these trials and tribulations, you will teach us how to have patience, just as you, Father, was patient with us we claim your promises right now as you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us so we trust in that promise we also want to pray that you will help us be more obedient and holy so that we can do what was first intended love you and love others and we pray that you will strengthen our growing faith each day and for those whose faith may not be growing so much please give them courage so they can trust fully in you in jesus name i pray amen
Model Prayer. Have you ever heard of the ACT model of prayer? ACT is an acronym that gives us a guide to help us how to pray. The A in ACT stands for adoration. This could be done by acknowledging that God is the creator of heaven and earth. Psalms 145 verse 1 to 3 says, I will bless your name forever. Every day I will bless you. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. Amen. The C in the C in Acts stands for confession. Confession is telling God about the things that you've done wrong. And being truly sorry for what we have done. For instance, when we break something, we should take the responsibility of telling the truth and asking for forgiveness. God is faithful and he keeps his promises. Luke chapter 18 verse 9 to 14 tells us about a story about the Pharisees and the tax collector. who went up to the temple to pray. Let's watch a short Bible skit. Father, I thank you that I am not like other people. I go to church every Sabbath. I pay my tithes and offering. I read the Bible and I do so much more. Amen. The Bible text talked about a Pharisee. He prayed to God and boasted about all his good deeds he had done. But the tax co collector admitted his sins and asked God to have mercy on him. God heard his prayers 
and his prayers were answered. God wants us to be like the tax collector. And the Bible says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. This text is taken from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. The T in Acts stands for thanksgiving. Thanksgiving focuses on what God has done. We can thank God for many things, including his love, salvation, protection, provision, friends, clothes, and many other things. The S in Acts stands for supplication. Supplication is praying for our needs as well as others. We can pray for protection, sick, children, the homeless, the list is endless. Remember, boys and girls, Acts model of prayer is A for adoration, C for confession, T for thanksgiving, and S for supplication. This is one method we can use to pray to God. God wants us to talk to him from the heart. Let's bow our heads for a short prayer. Dear God, teach us how to pray. Amen.